Hello everyone and welcome back to the Destiny Cloud Fist Invitational StarCraft 2 Tournament. I am coming at you hosting with my buddy Krogs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so Krogs is spawning up here in the upper right as the yellow Zerg. Going up against Murder by Bill as the pink Protoss. What do you think about the color pink, uh, Krogs? It's just lovely. I'm more of a fan of yellow, to be honest. It's bright, you know, powerful. In charge. Right, right, all right. Ooh, it looks like Krogs is actually going to be going with the six pool strategy. Going to go in for the all in rush against Murder by Bill as the Protoss. Now, why is it that you decided to go with the six pool here, Krogs? Well, it's the first time we've ever played, and I, I don't know, I mean, StarCraft 2 had just come out, and uh, I was a big fan of rushing in StarCraft 1, so, six pools, I mean, it's easy, it's an easy build to figure out on your own, if you're like a total noob, so I just kind of ran with it. All right, all right, sounds good. So it looks like you got your Zerglings are here spawning out pretty soon, and you already have their rally point set to your opponent's base. So it looks like you're not going to be wasting any time getting these Zerglings going. Not once I uh, once I stick the first six on the enemy, you got to uh, keep producing, keep rallying, unless uh, unless you have to retreat, of course. Alright, so here come the six Zerglings into Murder by Bill's base. Going to get in a couple of pot shots against this pylon before moving into the probes. Here come the probes attacking against the Zerglings, trying to fend off the attack and retreating a little bit. Chasing them all the way out of the base, but the probes are so far out of position. I yeah, actually got a little juke there on him. Yeah, you did. Taking on this zealot and killing off some of his Zerglings. It looks like actually... Hmm. This is not doing quite as much damage as quickly as I thought it would, but it is... Taking out quite a few of his probes here. Yeah, I got the Harvester uh, screen up for the income tab. And he's like double me in Harvesters at this point. So, I mean, I'm, I'm fully committed. I'm sitting at six harvesters still. Well, so it looks like you did... So at this point... Yeah, instead of spending your larvas on harvesters, you're going for even more zerglings here. Getting up to eight. Gonna go in for the... Uh, just keeping on the constant pressure, huh? Yep. I figured he would uh, presume that I would let up after that. And so, you know, that would mean he's going to go back and make more harvesters, which leaves the opening for me to uh, do it again. Okay, sounds good. Oh my god, it looks like this stalker is shooting the Overlord for the first two seconds, so it didn't even get as much damage off on the Zergens as it could have. And it looks like this is probably going to be the end for Murder by Bill. Pretty much most of his probes are dead now, only down to two harvesters. So, yeah, I guess. I'm not really sure what Bill is thinking at this point. He can come back into this game trying to chrono boost out a couple of probes. Because he does only have two probes. And not even enough minerals until now to start another probe. So, pretty much this is going to be the end. But he's going to make you fight it all the way out. He's going to kill off this last, uh, try to kill off this last Zergling. Uh, yep, he did manage to, and then does a GG right after that Zergling is dead. It looks like he just didn't want that Zergling running around in his base um, at the end of the game. So he just wanted to clear it out before giving up. So yeah, I guess that looks like it's a quick win to you, Krogs, and we will move to the next game.
Woo woo.